What's up? So, you know, I don't waste my time wasting my time with LeBron James and JJ Reddick show. But I did go through Uncut Hoops, had a good segment, broke it down really nice. Check it out. LeBron sent there with JJ Reddick talking about the 2009 run. And when they lost to Orlando, talking about we were geared to play them. But they're crying and have the help. And yeah, you won 60 plus games. Now, he had teammates. He just don't know how to utilize them. You know, when you get caught out lying left and right like LeBron James does, especially for his pre-Miami era, which never gets said enough. The reason why there are people like myself who don't consider LeBron in the top six, seven, eight, or nine, maybe even ten all the time, is because it's not because he doesn't have the stats. His stats is success. But he wasn't a leader. Dwayne Wade was a better leader than LeBron James will ever be. Then I hear Dwayne Wade complain about not having this or that. He took it upon himself to lead the team. Shaq was still great, but Shaq wasn't the same dude like he left L.A., but he still was great. And he could, they were a one-two punch and an underrated one-two punch, but Dwayne Wade took over the lead. He's the one that was the catalyst to change that series against Dallas. He was big against the Pistons. Because Dwayne Wade was a revelation back then. If you weren't don't remember, go look him up on the YouTube videos. Because his window wasn't as ex long as some others, but it was long enough for people to remember. The ones that were basketball aficionados remember. But the thing is, is that while LeBron is not in the conversation with Steph Curry to me, it's because he doesn't lead. He's always looked for a big brother, someone to hold his hand. That's why Kyrie left him, because Kyrie didn't want to get caught holding his hand. He'll make excuses. He'll blame me when he comes up short. I don't care what LeBron, he says he don't want to remember the series. For a guy who always got the high IQ and remembers everything, yeah, right. He don't want to remember it. I remember when Usher was over there dancing with him on the sideline. I remember that. But I remember the message for LeBron James and the one that he can't shake, because they always want to compare him with Jordan or something. Jordan found a way to get it going. Once he got it going, he found a way to get it going. Once he had everybody on board. And LeBron had more help to work with, with the Mo Williams. Watching what he had, even though Shaq was down and what have you, he still was on a 60-plus win team. Come on now. Yeah, you know, the games against Orlando were evenly matched. You just weren't a finisher. You weren't a closer. You weren't that dude. Why don't you ever tell the truth, LeBron? Tell it that you had to go to Dwayne Wade to hold your hand to show you how to man up and be a leader. Tell the truth that Kyrie hit big shots and was in integral so you could hide. Just like Anthony Davis. Because when you start frowning and pawning and get coaches fired and people movement, you never tell the truth that you didn't hold your end of the bargain up. That series against Orlando was very winnable. You just wasn't a finisher. And then the next year when you lost to the Celtics and you quit on your team, and Dan Gilbert. One thing you can say about Michael Jordan, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, Tim Duncan, Moses Malone, Dr. J, Larry Bird, Isaiah Thomas, Magic Johnson, Dwayne Wade, Steph Curry. They never had an owner come out and say that they quit on the team. Let that sink in. Dirk Nowinski neither. Dirk Nowinski, the, D, the Dallas team that beat Miami, had even less talent than LeBron had in 2009. Let that sink in. He won a title and stuck J.J. Burrow on you. And you could even crack 10 points. But you sat there with J.J. Reddick and said, poor me, I didn't have no help. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Oh, oh, oh cry me, cry a river. This is why you don't. Spend your time talking about LeBron James and his antics and the patheticness that he puts on display because the reality is he underachieved because he wasn't that dude. And the reason why he's a blueprint for Kevin Durant in more ways than you can imagine. It's just that he's been covered and he happened to win in spots and he made himself, you know, all around play, but he made himself covered. But it really ain't that different. And especially when you start talking about can you lead a team? Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another and share it if you like my piece.